Once again, Liz Truss is saying all the right things, but will she actually act on them? This time, it's about her saying that she will trigger the Article 16 of the Brexit deal within days of becoming Prime Minister. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Let's get on with this chaos of the leadership election. Now, Liz Truss is uh, promising all the right things. Everything's great. Everyone's happy, right? We've been let down before by the establishment, by politicians. So Pinch of Salt is here and I'm going to talk to the microphone. So <laughs> we know that Liz Truss as Foreign Secretary and recently in the last few months has been promising. Well, she's indicated that she ideally wants to trigger Article 16. She hasn't done it. Now, you could say her excuse is that, well, she's not Prime Minister. Downing Street, Rishi Sunak's number, number 11 um, Downing Street Treasury would be the blocker. They didn't allow her to do it, right? That's, that's the excuse. She now doesn't have an excuse. She's now promised us that she would uh, be triggering Article 16 to protect the integrity of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland, uh, generally speaking, uh, within days of becoming Prime Minister. Now, this is a big promise. Now, she said that ideally she wants to obviously get the EU uh, to sort out the negotiations, but she knows that the European Union are not going to uh, back down. They're not going to compromise. So she's going to have to do it. And if she doesn't, we will be in a lot of trouble. Now, this is an interesting thing because the, the, the story came from the Financial Times and saying that officials close to this trust have already consulted the legal and trade experts over these plans. Now, triggering this uh, will obviously provide the um, the legislation to actually, well, we got this bill coming up, obviously, uh, that would rip up the deal overall in June. This is the about, then um, back in June, uh, the British government tabled this legislation. And now that's going forward, that's going to happen anyway. But if they actually, they would give them the power to rip up the deal, but will she actually do it? The interesting thing is, she's getting support from uh, various sides, including Ben Habib, who was a former Brexit Party MEP and a very hardcore uh, pro-Northern Ireland uh, politician and politico. She said, uh, well, he said that the triggering Article 16 as soon as Liz Truss takes office would help uh, alleviate uh, the difficulties in Northern Ireland. Absolutely spot on. It would also send a strong signal to Brussels that she means business. And finally, it will restore faith in politics. Now, that's the last bit. The last part is the most important part because... If she does it, then yes, I agree with Ben Habib, it would restore trust. But if it, if she doesn't do it, it will make things much worse than you see now. If you think that the disconnect between the public and politicians is bad now, just wait to see what happens then. There are two issues right now to deal with. One is the Brexit deal, and secondly is the border. The border, well, lack of border that we have. And she's saying all the right things. Now, if Liz Truss doesn't deliver soon then we're going to have a massive problem on our hands when it comes to the... I don't want to use the word civil unrest, but you know, in a very British way, civil unrest. But we'll see what will happen. But there's another problem for the government because uh, when you have uh, Ursula von der Leyen and her gang uh, who are taking legal action against Britain already, this actually gives a deadline to Liz Truss. 15th of September. Now, keep this date in your head because this is the the deadline that Liz Truss and UK government will have to actually act on this. Otherwise, this legal action could, I mean, it's, it's nonsensical anyway, because they're not even using a real court. They're using their own kangaroo court of a uh, European Court of Justice. So it's not even a real impartial body, but uh, it's, it's all gimmicky stuff anyway. But it is what it is. Now we're going to come back in half an hour. We're going to tell you about, uh, you remember yesterday when we talked about Emily Maitlis on this channel, uh, because a couple of days ago when she made a speech uh, against the, uh, Everybody, <laughs> she's there. Uh, someone said actually, I think it was a spectator, uh, said that uh, Emily Maitlis is the Meghan Markle of journalism. Spot on. The so next video in half an hour, we're going to come back and tell you more about the BBC bosses hitting back at Emily Maitlis. Subscribe to the channel. Amaya TCN, we are the media.